Hello YouTube, it's Kid 1416 here, and sorry about the bad quality. My flip cam is in my dad's car, and he's not here, and I wanted to quickly make this video. But anyway, you know, in my last video about this computer, about the Dell Dimension XPS T600, it had NT4 on it, and NT4 went great. It was compatible, it looked great, I mean, I, I liked it. But there were two problems. The first problem was, you know, I just don't want it on there. And I like 98 on here because this, when I, as you know, this is the, um, that model of the computer that I had, my very first computer, and my very first computer had 98 on it. And second problem is NT has this glitch or something. I don't know if you can explain what it is in the comments. Tell me. Where it only, it, you can only install if you format to, I think, three and a half gigabytes or less. And as you can see here, this is why I'm in NT setup right now, so I can show you. There are two hard drives with 8 gigabytes each. So, you know, it wouldn't install. And 98, I believe, would work on there. And another, um, and that's pretty much it for that. And the problem I was having is 98 will not install. And I'm going to show you why right now. First, let me show you the hard drive status. Like I said, there are two on... I just deleted two partitions there. Eight gigabytes each. So let me pop in in 98. And I'm going to show you what the problem is. I'm going to show you what I've been trying to do to fix it. And please, please, please tell me in the comments. Or PM me. Personal message me. If you know how to fix this problem. Because it's really bugging me. And I really want 98 on it. Okay. So insert the 98 disc. I'm just going to put away NT here. Okay. So let's restart the computer. Sorry about the scan lines too. Like I said, I'm having to use my phone, but my flip, I think it's better with scan lines. So. Or at least it wasn't my video about the computer I did. There it goes. I'm gonna boot from CD-ROM. I'm gonna start setup from CD-ROM. Okay, it is formatting the drive. Now, here's where the problem come in, comes in. It does differently each time. Sometimes, it'll start to format, and then it'll, like, after literally about 10 seconds of trying to format, it'll pop up saying, please insert the disk, as if the disk wasn't in there. And I know you guys are going to say, just put it in the other drive. Well, I tried that, and that's the right drive, so. Anyway, keep, and sometimes it does like it's doing now. It takes forever to format, like three hours or something, which is too long. And then when it gets to about 75%, it gives up. It says it cannot install 98. It just doesn't work. And I would show you, but I just hope that you guys believe me about that. So tell me how to fix that, but I'm, now I'm going to show you what I've been trying to do to fix it. And I know you guys are probably also going to suggest um, booting from a floppy of 98. I tried that too. Or like a boot disk. It doesn't boot from a floppy very well for some reason. I could try that again, I guess. But just give me any other suggestions you have. By the way, um, this compact keyboard here is new. I got it from my local country club. Who it was just literally laying around there. There was no computer near it. Nothing. And contacted the guy who owns the country club. He gave it to me. So I like it. I still have the E-Machines keyboards in my closet. Okay, so what I've been trying to do to fix it is... Let me turn to widescreen here. Let's boot from CD-ROM. So our computer with CD-ROM support, which starts like a boot disk would. 
is, you know, like the MS-DOS pump. Okay, so here's what I try to do. So I go to E, oh, sorry, C. And it acts like it's there, right? But then if I do format or something, just let's just do F disk. Because that's what I'm going to do in a second. See, it acts like it's not reading the C drive. But if I got an E, which is a CD ROM, let me just make sure it's the right one. No, it's E. It um, must be D. Okay, anyway. Yeah, see, there's the files there. And so the first thing I try to do, sorry, voice crack there. The first, first thing I try to do is what you guys might suggest also, which is go to C and then so make directory. And I'd like to thank Billy Core, my good friend. Um, YouTube user Road Geek for telling me about this part, which didn't it didn't work. You'll see that in a second. C colon slash win nine eight. See, it still can't read it. Out. So I can't do that. See if I try to copy it directly. Win nine eight. See, it's not reading the C drive. Okay. So that's one of the problems. Another one is what I tried to do. Let me show you here. Okay. See, there's F disk here. Um, yes. Well, um, what I tried to do is create an MS DOS partition from F disk. See? And see if you go to display partition information number four. It says there's one that I created earlier, but it's not detecting an NT setup because it's NT. I'm gonna delete that for now, but yeah. Okay, I just deleted that. So, well, you notice it tried to start to format once I created that MSF version. It's very weird. I don't know what's going on with it. Please, please tell me in the comments if you know. And, yeah. I'll make a new video once I get 9 yet set up, and I'll thank the people who tried to help me. So, if you're out in the comments trying to help me, you'll get mentioned. So, at least try to help me. Okay, guys, bye.